stole my first dance. You punched up B12 on the jukebox. And while Paper Dow played, you danced with me. I was crushed up against you and, and you held me up so that my feet didn't even touch the floor. Twelve. Twelve years old. B. Twelve on the jukebox. Do you know that I still can't listen to Paper Dow? From Guiding Light, Kim Zimmer. And the winner is... From Guiding Light, Kim Zimmer. of what to say. Um, I, there's too many people to thank personally. I have to thank all the men in Reva Shane's life because they've helped me win these things. Larkin Malloy, Larry Gates, Jordan Clark, Robert Newman, who plays the love of my life on Cutting Light. I love you, Robert, wherever you are. <laughs> Most of all, my husband, A.C. Weary, who plays my husband in real life. Pam Long, the writers, I have to thank you for putting the words into Reva's mouth and for the directors for letting me do the things that I do. They have to control me every so often, but I like to chew the scenery. What can I say? For the set designers for letting me do it. But most of all, I just have to thank everyone that's involved with Guiding Light. The office staff who, who made up my, my goodbye party announcements yesterday. I'm leaving the guiding light, but I've always said never say never again, and I will be back someday. <laughs> Thank you all very much. What time did Mama get up? Early. Real early. Yeah, that figures. With everything else she has to do, she got up in time to make me blueberry muffins. <sighs> She always did that. The whole time I was growing up, she made sure she got up and made me blueberry muffins if it was a special day, like if I had a spelling bee or cheerleading tryouts. I should have been there. Oh, hey. Now, no regrets. Not today. You're here now, and that's all that counts. You know, your mother has left us alone on purpose. <laughs> Subtle, isn't she? I, I, I want to say something real right. But I don't know what it is. Pass the butter? Close enough. <laughs> Look, I promise you, when time comes for you and Josh to head down that aisle, I'll be considered and more spruced up. Well, I was thinking about changing my clothes, too. It's a great thing about weddings. You don't have to look in the closet and say, what am I going to wear today? <laughs> I can hardly wait to see you. And you listen to me. If there's anything you want done or anything, you just let me know. I will. I don't want you to have to worry about anything on this day. Most important day of your life. You think so? You don't? Mm. Well, I have been married before. Not to Josh? No. Not to Joshua. This is the real one. For always. Yep. For keeps. Mmm. Mmm. Maybe that's why it's hitting me so hard. Up to now, I've been able to tell myself there was always a little bit of you that would still be my little girl. But this time with Josh. Pop, that doesn't bother you, does it? That Joshua and I are going down the aisle together and that you're not giving me away? No, no, not a bit. Not, because not, it's, it's not you. I mean, it's not about you. It's It's... It's just that Joshua and I decided that we wanted to do it together. It's special for us. Yeah. Yeah. 
It's like we're beginning our walk through life together. Isn't that after you get married? After you join together? <laughs> Mara's in the next room. I think we've already pretty much joined together. <laughs> and it doesn't have to do with me being such a lousy father. Are you fishing for compliments? <laughs> hey, you got a slow start. But now I think you're probably about the best pop anyone could have ever asked for. And the fact that you're back with Mama, that's about the best gift I could have ever gotten. <laughs> Can I tell you something? Sure. You know, I'm so happy for you. I could just about bust, and I know you've been waiting for this all your life, but... It gets me scared. Scared? I don't want to lose my little girl. Pop, it's been a long time since I've been a little girl. <laughs> You're my first baby, my, my sweetheart. When you came along, Sarah and I were so happy with you, with each other. I hadn't started messing up. I just love being with you. Showing you all. You were so pretty <laughs> and so smart. <laughs> I took you down to the tavern with me once in a while. Don't you dare tell your mama that. I never have, and I never will. <laughs> you'd, you'd, you'd sit up there on the on the bar stool next to me, and uh, like you was one of the regulars. As bright as you please, you'd uh, you'd order yourself. Um, Cold drink, peanuts. All by yourself. <laughs> and I was so pr proud <laughs> to be your daddy. Pop, don't you worry about anything. <laughs> I'll always be your little girl. <laughs> Need some help? Oh, thanks. I've been having a devil of a time trying to keep Mara from getting dirty. She insists on showing that boy, Dylan, how she can do her cartwheels. But she can't do cartwheels. That's how she's getting so dirty. <laughs> but I thought I'd better get in here and help my baby get ready. Uh, you know, Pop just called me his little girl, and now I'm your baby. Always will be. You know, before... When I was giving Mara a bath, I was remembering the feel of you, my firstborn. <laughs> there were times when I could have just buried my head in that little body of yours. You smelled so sweet. But, of course, I never did. I had to raise you, make you obey, discipline you. Don't be too tough on Mara. Don't be like me. Don't say that. No, no, I was too hard on you. I spent too much time with right and wrong, and I never spent enough time appreciating you. The way you appreciate Mara, I never would have allowed you to practice cartwheels in a good dress. <laughs> this isn't about doing cartwheels. I just, I just try to make sure that, that Mara knows what I always knew. That my mama loved me. That's all. Well, must have done something right. Look at you. You're perfect. Far from it. Now, don't you argue with me. <laughs> oh, honey. I'm so proud to be your mama. I love you so much. <laughs>
how beautiful you are. It's really here. <laughs> Today, I'm really marrying Joshua. I have waited for this forever. All my life, I've only loved this one man. It's always been just him. I mean, all the other men, uh, it's like I loved them because I saw something in them all that reminded me of Joshua. But it's always been just him that I really wanted. I can still remember what it felt like to be Reva Shane from the other side of town. And meeting him for the first time, the son of the people my mama worked for. All those times we broke up. I think we had our first fight 10 minutes after we met. <laughs> But even with all those times we broke up, no matter what, we always got back together. And that has to be love, doesn't it? Because nothing else is that strong. And now I can finally count on it. And I can trust it. Because as long as Joshua and I are together, I'll be safe. And so will our baby. <sighs> We'll get that fixed right up for you. No problem. Here we go. Let's see. Mommy, oh. you look pretty. Oh, I thank you, sweetie. Are you too, Grandma. Oh, thank you, honey. Here we go. There, oh, it's all fixed. There, there turn around. Right, now, turn see. around and look at yourself. Oh, yeah. Very pretty. Grandpa. <laughs> Well. <laughs> you like it? You stay right there, all of you. Now, huh? where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? I'm not, man. It's almost party time. Oh, would you mind? Oh, I don't know. There's a trip. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Where are you going to be? There? Right here. Yeah. Right <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I did. Stay right here. told anyone. See, 
Billy and Josh are saying stuff. I mean, they, th they think I did something that we both know I didn't. You did enough. Well, so did you. I was a kid. You were a willing kid. I wasn't willing. You fool, I was... I was confused. I was 12 years old. Dodge. No, you... You weren't no 12. 12. I was 12 years. You should have looked that young. I mean, you sure never acted like no 12. You never gave me the chance. I was. I was 12 years old. You knew my family. You knew my brother. You knew my sister. You, you had to know, Pharaoh. And you should have known better. <laughs> Reva, I was, I, I was just trying... I was... I was just trying to make you smile. I, I never thought I was hurting you. I, I never did anything to hurt you. Not like Josh and Billy are saying. Reva, I never raped you. Oh, yes, you did, Sarah. Who I was. I was a little girl who could never wear a white dress to church and feel good about it. You see, I had this dirty secret that nobody else had. I, I felt like a, a, a copper, shiny penny that was all tarnished and dark from too much rubbing. I couldn't believe that everybody else didn't see that. You stole my first kiss. You, you stole it from Joshua, too, because it, it, it should have been with him. You stole my first dance. You punched up B-12 on the jukebox. And while Paper Doll played, you danced with me. I was crushed up against you, and, and you held me up so that my feet didn't even touch the floor. And I'd close my eyes and I would count, hoping that it would all be over soon. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, thirty-six, thirty-seven, fifty-three, fifty-six, fifty, seventy-five. 76, 80, 85, 90, 91, 100. You know, there was one time that I got all the way to 165. And you still held on to me, squeezing me so hard that I couldn't breathe. You see, I remember all the numbers. I, I know how far I got on all of those songs that you made me dance to. But you know the, the one number I'll never forget? Twelve. Twelve years old. B-12 on the jukebox. Do you know that I still can't listen to Paper Doll? And every time I get to check number 12 in my checkbook, I have to, I have to just void it out. I can't stay on the 12th floor. <laughs> Twelve. That's when, when most girls are, are dreaming about their, their first kiss. I had nightmares. Mama didn't understand. She always blamed it on, on Hawk because he was away. And she'd get so mad at him. And I couldn't tell her that, that, that it was me she should blame because I was afraid. I was afraid that if she found out what I was, she... She wouldn't look at me like I was her sweet little girl anymore. And I knew, I knew deep down inside of me, I knew with my heart that if she found out she would never love me again, that nobody could. So I never told her. I never told anybody. I just... I would put on the happiest face in front of all those people at school. And I, 
I had to because I never wanted them to find out, you see. Every time they wanted to go to the, to the, to the coronet, I used to swallow and, and swallow. I was so afraid that I was going to throw up. So, I, I mean, I couldn't say that I didn't want to go because they'd wonder why. And, 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 and so I just pray that you weren't going to be there because I was afraid that they were going to see something in, in my eyes, that they might see something in your eyes, and they'd know. So I would just put on my, my best smile, and I would swing into one of those booths, just like the rest of them, but inside I was screaming. I wasn't like the rest of them. I was so afraid. I knew that I was going to spend the rest of my life in mortal fear that they were going to find out. Especially Joshua. I mean, that whole time he spent loving me. Every time he would smile at me, a part of me wanted to just crawl away and die because I knew he deserved better. You see, I felt, I felt so dirty and apart. I was so different from them. I, I felt like I would, I'd, I'd cross some kind of a, a line and, and I didn't know how to get back, so I would do wild, crazy things. <laughs> and then something would, would say to me, why did, why did you do that? You don't want to do that. That voice was 12 years old. And then, and then another voice would answer me back. Why you want to do that, Rifa? This is who you are. That voice was yours, Pharaoh. Reva, honey, I... No, don't! I'm so sorry. I... I never meant to hurt you. I... I do know how you feel. You do, huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. You think I'm... I didn't live with it, too? I mean, it don't make me proud to think I spoiled things for a young girl. I mean... Just to get, to get them those little pleasures I needed but by letting somebody who didn't letting know... Letting me? Well, from being friendly with you. I wasn't friendly. Don't you see that? But I hoped that... I mean, I, mean, I, I, I thought that... I, I don't know what I thought. You were just a kid. Billy's right. I... I wasn't much of a man. I, 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 I don't know what to do about it now. Tell me the truth. Uh, I can't. I can't make up for it. No, 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 for what? Just, just tell me the truth. Just say it. Well, for what I did. I did it. It was me. It wasn't your fault, Reva. It wasn't who you were. Get out, Pharaoh. That's it? You're, you're not going to throw me to Billy and Josh? No. You're not my problem anymore. Go on, run. Go on and run, Pharaoh. Come on and run and you just keep running, okay? You'll get used to it. I've been running all my life.
You okay? Yeah. You know Josh and Billy's still in the back. I know. <laughs> but I, 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 I think I, I want to go home by myself. I, I, I'd like to be alone for a while. <laughs> Well, you want me to give you a ride? Oh, no. No, thanks. I'll walk. I mean, I can do that now, Ham. Yes. I can, I can go out that door. I can, I can go outside and be by myself in the dark and, and know it's okay. Because it, it, it'll just be me. Finally. I don't have to be afraid. <laughs> you know, I, I actually I think I'm I think I'm gonna fly home. <laughs> <laughs> you do that. You do that. 